We are looking into the criminal history of the man now facing charges in yesterday's deadly stabbing. Joseph Jenkins was on parole for attempted murder in Ione back in 2011. KCRA 3's Michelle Bandura is here now. And Michelle, do we know why he was back in Ione? Yeah, that's the question mm. that the investigators are looking into. That's where that attempted murder charge uh, happened in 2011. But we do know that Joseph Jenkins was released from a state hospital in San Luis Obispo County in February, and he served a short jail term for crimes committed in 2012 in Orange County this summer. He returned to Ione and is now accused in that deadly stabbing while on parole for attempted murder. This is Joseph Jenkins' mugshot from 2011 from the California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation when he was 22 years old, convicted of attempted murder in Amador County from an incident in Ione. A judge sentenced Jenkins to 14 years in prison. Jenkins made a few stops before returning to Ione this summer under the supervision of the state parole office. He was staying here in town um, since his release, and that's about all we have right now. Again, we're, we're doing this investigation trying to, you know, track where his whereabouts were. According to the CDCR, in February of this year, the state moved Jenkins to the Department of State Hospitals. And then in June, Jenkins served eight days in Orange County for a pair of 2012 misdemeanor convictions of assault of a peace officer. In July, while on parole, the Ione police chief says Jenkins was staying in a hotel. He says his department has questions about Jenkins' placement in their city. It really falls back to what the state decided to do with him, and that's really a question for the um, state of California, why he was released and then sent to the hospital and released into Ione. The attempted murder conviction was not Jenkins' first run-in with Amador County law enforcement. He was arrested in 2009 on felony assault and other counts. He struck a plea bargain in early 2011 with other charges of felony assault with a deadly weapon other than a firearm and battery dropped as part of the agreement. A judge sentenced Jenkins to three Three years and he was released on parole in August of 2011. Now he's back in jail facing murder charges. Reached out to the Department of State Hospitals for more information. We want to know why he was placed in the hospital in the first place, as well as uh, you know what what factors played into yeah. his release yeah. and again why he ended up in Ione. Yeah, a lot of questions. You can understand the, the dismay and the anger that Absolutely. the family's having tonight. So mm -hmm. thanks for that part of our coverage, Michelle. Yep. Well, uh, to add to that, it's still unclear when Jenkins will be facing a judge for the first time. We have reached out to the DA's office and the court. We haven't heard back yet. We will continue to follow this still developing story out of Amador County.